Morning everybody. This is a day in the life of a crane operator. It's 1.30 in the morning. Came in to do a concrete pour on the first floor of the new Apple Complex, Austin, Texas. You guys are in for a ride, alright? Sit back and enjoy. Alright you guys, I'm going I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys started with me. Uh, let you know what kind of the process it takes to get started inside of a crane. Uh, I'm 150 feet up, so I had to climb a, a few ladders to get up here. It's okay though, I'm, I'm, I'm in shape, you know. Okay, round is a shape. I get in here, this is my cab, you guys. This is my operating seat. These are my levers. This is one, that's number two. That's my computer. That's my control panel for all the amenities on the inside. I got my uh, stereo. I got my two radios to communicate with the guys downstairs. My microwave, okay. Got a couple cabinets. This is my cabinet for my main electron electronic uh, components. That's another cabinet where I keep some storage. This is another cabinet where I keep more storage. Got to have that toilet paper and them tools handy because I'm 150 feet up. I mean, you got to admit. <laughs> Sometimes you got to be prepared, you know, for whatever happens. That's none of y'all business, though. So, uh, yeah, I get up here. I make sure everything's ready. I, I test my, uh, my, my limits. This is the outside of my crane, you guys. This is my porch, right? So I step out here and uh, I've got another set of, of uh, electronic components in here. Bunch of stuff I don't want to play with. All the technicians know a lot about that. I don't, okay? So it looks just like this other electronic component cabinet. Just a lot more complex and you know, it's just one of those things, you know? I know how to use a computer. I don't know how to build or, you know, troubleshoot them the technicians that's why we got technicians I'm the operator okay so I'm only supposed to operate these cranes uh, and whatnot but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the uh, the counter deck and uh, the pulley system on uh, the first section of jib because that's what I inspect and uh, we'll go from there all right you guys so I climb up here to my uh, to my jib uh, as you can see there's a uh, there's my counter deck back that way, and then there's my, uh, the rest of my jib that way, okay? I'm gonna show you how I go down the inspection. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys down towards my counter deck. As you can see, it's a little bit of a walk, and uh, halfway towards my counter deck, I can go ahead and look over and see that we've got some activity going on right there. We've got a, what you can see right here is a concrete pump. It's that pump arm and it's starting to pour concrete down there because we got to get this whole section of, of concrete poured as we have over here now we got a lot of equipment over here and then we've got the uh, second floor of the apple complex of building number two going over here so there's a lot of activity going on up here for me it's not very much for me so um, we're going to take you down towards the inspection now check you got check it out you guys i got my hoist rope right here on my hoist drum Okay, I take you guys walking around and do my inspection with me. I'm gonna show you what I look for. I look for any abnormalities. I look for leaks. I look for any torn cables. Come out here to look at my counterweights. Let's see, I've got four, five, six, seven, seven times four is 28 plus two is 30. So I got 30,000 kilograms of counterweight over here. And then uh, I come over here and continue to look for any leaks or any kind of abnormalities on my uh, hoist drum mechanism and stuff. So I got my electric motor right here. It's pretty nice, a big old electric motor. It's what turns this a shaft inside of there that turns this gearbox. I got three gears, right? Uh, and then that just keeps on turning this hoist rope. So we're looking for any more abnormalities. We're gonna keep on walking. We're gonna go ahead and exit our counter deck and we're gonna walk back towards our cab and uh, get over here into our pulley mechanisms for our ma main hoist rope. I got my uh, four part trolley there and some more pulleys and stuff. Bunch of good stuff I gotta look out for, you know. Gotta make sure these pulleys are in good shape and whatnot. Kinda gotta get up close to them and it, it, you know, I used to be nervous about this but I'm not anymore. But there's our tensioner and all kinds of good stuff. As you can see, I'm only a foot or so away from going over the edge and falling 150 feet to my death. But, I'm not gonna do that. So, every month or so, I actually walk down that jib. It's uh, 
260 foot worth of jib. You can't see it, but I'll show you guys later on. Yeah, like I said, I'll show you guys. I'll give you guys a good walkthrough. All right, it's time to get to work, you guys. I can't show you right now because it's pretty dark, but once the daylight comes, I'll show you a lot of the action, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and move a light plant for you guys. Just take a look. And uh, it's kind of dark, but you might be able to see something, all right? So I went ahead and made my pick for uh, the morning. I moved the light plant for these guys. They already have all their equipment up on the floor to pour the concrete. It's going to take them about four to five hours to pour that concrete, okay? Everybody else starts showing up about 7.30, getting to work. Right now it's uh, it's almost 2.30. Got a little bit of time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down, take a nap. I'm going to show you guys what I got to take a nap on. I got a few pillows right there. Uh, got me plenty of, plenty of room. I'm gonna lay down, dude. I'm gonna crash because I had to come out here very early this morning. I had to leave from New Braunfels by midnight, 12 o'clock, to get here by one. So, uh, you guys are fixing to see the rest of the video. I'm gonna holla at you. All right, so it's uh, it's 7:30. Got woke up about an hour ago so that they can set some little motorized screed type deals down there. And uh, yeah, you know as good a sleep as you're gonna get sleeping on that floor I guess it's okay though you know, but it just comes with the territory now I've got a, a beautiful morning uh, out here I always got this real pretty view and you know it's just... got a couple other operators out there working and uh, we've got to, uh, one thing that we've got to be aware of all the time when we're operating the crane is getting inside of each other's radius. Uh, that can turn into a critical situation very fast, especially since it's so hard to, to stop a moving, you know, 50, 60,000 pounds worth of steel. Um, that shoot out 262 foot that way some 30 45 feet that way and, and it's just like you catch somebody else's cable and you know. okay 10 for so I'll just uh, take you guys along for the ride you can watch me make some of my picks all right later So right now I'm removing some forms, some wooden forms, column forms that uh, they use to, uh, you see they, they, they build rebar cages for the columns, right? And then they put the, the wooden forms around it to make a square column. And then they pour the concrete into that column, right? And then after that concrete sets, you know, you come back the next day and you take that wooden form off and you come over here and you put it around the next group arcade, shut it, then they pour concrete and you know, you're a big process. And uh, once we have our column set, then we start building, um, you know, the uh, platform uh, for the second floor, or for the next floor, whichever one comes next. And then just repeat, and then, and then they, they come in with some uh, cavity boxes or whatever and pour the concrete and slab, and then you remove all that, pour more, put more columns and then just the process continues as the floors go up.
Yeah, it's game over, brother. I'm fixing to start pouring concrete, my man. Okay, is that part of the concrete here already? Yeah, 42. Yes, sir. Oye, este, hazme un favor. La ruedita del Charlie, cuando, lo va, cuando va para afuera, va rápida. Y cuando viene para, para adentro, es más espacia. Ok. Dices que saliendo el Charlie está más recio que el Charlie. Vamos a dar un poquito más para la derecha del monte. Acá está más limpio que esta. Para poder estar fuerte y de regreso está de Hijo, eso, tendrás que hablar con el técnico porque eso no. Yo sé que hay un switch ahí enseguida de la palanca de la derecha, pero uh, siempre debe que ser el, eh, igual saliendo y metiendo. No, aquí está, aquí está. Aquí está conmigo. Ahí está, ahí está. 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 Y para afuera es rápido. Entonces, eh, lo que te quería preguntar que si está igual a aquella, a esta. No, uh, es igual sí, saliendo para, que entrando con esta. Sí, sí, es lo que es lo, es lo que es, eh, ¿Por qué no puedo bajar eh, la, la cometa ahí? Pienso que sigue rápido para ver. Pero cuando caiga esta pantalla, ahí va, 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 ahí Ya, yeah, acá es igual la saliendo que entrando, acá con la mía. Ok, sí. Está bueno, Jake. Gracias. Aquí está más despacio. Este, Pero blanco, dice que le puede echar algo de agua. Rico, no sé, ahí había mucho, pero me dio una buena mitad por la bola. What's up, everybody? Busy, busy, busy day. About to start pouring concrete. Concrete's a non-stop repetitive, uh, repetitive uh, duty cycle is what we call it uh, and and I, I'll, you'll get video you'll see video of that next uh, but things have uh, things have just been picking up out here it's just non-stop for me anymore uh, that's why you didn't get very much video because I, I didn't hardly have a chance to uh, to stop and set it up but uh, I do now because I have to set my concrete bucket down that, that yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just now I've got a concrete truck here. Okay. Hey, Uh, so um, yeah, pouring concrete is going to be fun. I like to do it, uh, and uh, and what you'll notice here is you'll notice there's a little chute on the bottom. It's a conical conical bucket filled with concrete. There's a chute. It's a rubber chute. It's just a hose that the concrete flows through. I got to get that chute inside of that rebar cage um, like I was telling you earlier we were setting up columns and stuff well I'm gonna fill those columns up with concrete now so essentially uh, I'm building more columns and uh, it's just gonna keep going from here so uh, I also decided to make myself a little snack because uh, I was hungry I didn't hardly get to eat uh, but yeah I hope you guys can hear me I know there's a lot of noise but uh you know, I'll check. I'll fendangle with it when I get up, when I get it on the computer. But enjoy me pouring columns.